So do you know which language is the most hated language in the world? Well, if you guessed it correctly, it is JavaScript. But do you know that which language is the most loved language in the world? Well, it is JavaScript again. And yes, I did copy this line from Akshay Saini, so credits to him. But you guys get the gist of it. So a lot of people might hate this language, but I have to admit that this language, that is JavaScript, is one of the biggest reasons why I landed my front-end engineering internship at Facebook and why I'm going to be joining Google in the August as a software engineer. So here I am at the University of Rochester, a first year who's like curious to know what technologies to learn, to stand out amongst the crowd that will help me to get my internships and jobs. And by doing some research and getting some advice from some seniors, I found out that web development is a big thing which is required at an internship level and also at a new grad level. And even the positions that are titled as software engineers, they are also technically web development positions and you can also find that within the description. So if you want to do this kind of research, I would advise you to go to the positions that you're interested in right now, check their descriptions out, find out what technologies those positions require and start learning those technologies. But I guarantee you this that you will find JavaScript amongst a lot of the positions that are listed online. And just to give a helpful anecdote to back up my position on this is that even when I interviewed at Google and when I got the position, I got a form to choose the type of work that I wanted to do. And even though this is a software engineering role, right? But the three options that I was given were related to front end, back end, or full stack development, which in the end is also web development. So if you want to learn web engineering, the key language to learn is JavaScript. And JavaScript JavaScript is kind of like the assembly of web programming. And now the good thing about JavaScript is that not only will it allow you to interview for the software engineering positions, because you can do your lead code interviews with JavaScript. I personally did all my interviews for all of the software engineering roles with JavaScript, but also you can apply for a lot of variety of positions such as full stack engineering position, as well as front end engineering positions. And these are niche positions. So it increases the chance of you getting an internship or a job and this is something which I witnessed personally because my experience with my junior year recruiting season was that I got rejected by over 200 plus companies and the only position that I got was was a front-end engineering role at Facebook and the front-end engineering role was all about JavaScript so if I didn't learn JavaScript I would have never landed or even thought about interviewing for that role so you can see that learning JavaScript allows you to open a wide domain of positions that you can interview for it allows you to to expand your domain and to become very good at a niche. Also another point is that JavaScript is a fairly easier language to learn because you don't have to worry about a lot of the intricacies that are involved in languages such as C++ or Java. So you will relatively get the grasp of JavaScript fairly quickly. And also a lot of people ask me whether I use JavaScript for my lead code interviews and I never ever used another language for my coding interviews except for JavaScript. You can do all of those questions that are available online on JavaScript. And a lot of people are going to say, well, JavaScript doesn't have a heap, but it, it even simplifies things because during the interview, you can let the interview know that JavaScript doesn't have a heap. So you can just simplify it even further. You can just make an assumption on an already existing data structure and the interview won't ask you to dive deep into that. Also, you can also import a heap from a library or you can use libraries in JavaScript because JavaScript has a lot of libraries. Now, another key thing to think about during an interview and while choosing a language is that the language should be fairly easy to write because what we want to do during a technical interview is that we want to spend a majority of the time thinking about the algorithm, trying to solve the problem and trying to come up with the algorithm that will be most efficient to solve that question. But when we are supposed to write the code, our language shouldn't be the barrier between us acing that interview because if the language takes a long time to write, it will become a problem. So that is why a lot of people choose Python. And the same reason is why people choose JavaScript is because JavaScript JavaScript is fairly easier to write. You have a lot of tricks in JavaScript that you can use to write fairly fast code. And also another point is that JavaScript is weakly typed and you can prevent a lot of errors from occurring if you're writing code quite quickly. Now this can be a problem if you're debugging because you don't know what kind of functionality is happening as the types are not strictly checked. But then again, during an interview, you want your code to at least run 
so writing fast code is fairly easier with javascript i would say now a lot of people argue this that to learn javascript or to make the best out of javascript you have to learn other technologies such as html and css well this is not wrong because learning html and css would allow you to delve deeper into the realm of web development and if this is something that is interesting to you if web development is something which you are interested in then it is a total win-win but then again i would argue that while you're learning the language right let's say that you're learning another language such as python but if you're learning javascript you can combine some frameworks and you can use that to your advantage because now you're also expert in another niche so as i argued earlier or as i told you earlier that not only would javascript allow you to interview for those sde positions but it would also allow you to interview for very niche positions such as front-end engineering and full-stack engineering positions it would allow you to maximize your shots and increase your chances of getting an internship or a job and then again i would also tell you that learning these technologies would allow you to make some of the coolest projects that will help you stand out during your recruiting process and one key thing about the internship or getting a job is that you also need to stand out during the recruiting process you need to get that interview and learning these technologies and javascript would allow you to build some really cool projects that would help you to stand out during this process and one example is building your own portfolio and javascript and web technologies would allow you to do that not only would it count as an amazing personal project but it would also allow you to display yourself online to put yourself on the internet and it would also allow you to stand out in the recruiting process now personally i used a course by angela for web development and it was a bootcamp web development course to learn all of the relevant technologies that i needed if you guys want to check this course out i'll link it in the description below and you can check it out it is totally worth it for the money so i would definitely recommend that you check it out but then again you don't need to buy a course or you don't need anything to learn all of these technologies all of this is available for free online as you can learn javascript html and css mostly online you can use a resource like w3 schools as well now my next point is for those people who hate the lead code style interview format and i would like to give you a good news that learning javascript as i mentioned earlier would allow you to interview for some front-end roles and a lot of companies at the front-end role would not interview you with a lead code style question rather you would not even be asked data structures at most companies rather what they would do is that they would interview you with a js specific question i had a lot of js specific rounds at a lot of companies and how these rounds go is that the interview would ask you about a concept in javascript and they would ask you to maybe display it on code or to solve it verbally and they would also ask you to tell what the output would be and this is much easier to learn because a lot of it is repeated and you can just google online on common javascript interview questions and you would able to just memorize them and then crack them in the interview and just to give myself a shout out that i am also making a common front-end interview series related to javascript and i'll put a link in the description below you can also see a card somewhere on the screen so you can click and check out that playlist i have not added a lot of videos but maybe by the time you are seeing this there might be a lot of videos for you to check out now i would also like to tell you that javascript script actually helped me to get my job at google and how this happened is is that when i was interviewing for google now i didn't know this personally but i chose javascript as my language to interview for my final virtual on sites now i didn't know that interviewing with javascript would unlock a new type of interview at google but how it actually went is that i had my final virtual on sites and in those on sites there was one behavioral round which is called the googliness round and then there are four technical rounds and out of those four technical rounds three of them were lead code style question or let's say similar to that and one of the questions was actually to my surprise a javascript specific question and now when i saw the question i actually became happy although it was a surprise to me because i, I didn't i wasn't expecting that at all but i became happy when i saw it because i knew that this is something which i have expertise in and this was the round which i did exceptionally well in and i think that it had a huge contribution to why i got my job at google so i know that this video might come as a surprise for you because a lot of people on the internet tend to hate javascript they would tell you things otherwise but i would assure you that once you understand javascript and once you start getting a hold of it you will fall in love with it so if you found this video helpful and insightful then please like this video and please subscribe to my channel as that keeps me motivated to make more videos for you guys and as always see you guys in the next video